Even before hospitals were inundated with COVID-19 patients, they were dealing with a shortage of nurses, and the situation isn't getting any better during this pandemic. Senator Jim Inhofe wants to change that, and he's requesting federal funding to help with the shortage. 2 News Oklahoma reporter Jeanette Casada talked with TCC's nursing program about what they're doing to end the shortage. That's right. Well, TCC administrators tell me the nursing shortage started well before the pandemic, but the demand increased due to COVID-19. Hello, my name is Sean. I'm going to be your nurse today. Sean Van Deventer is one of nearly 400 students enrolled in TCC's nursing program. He's a fourth semester student set to graduate in December. We're just going to do a quick head to toe assessment on you. It's been very rigorous, especially with COVID. Um, we officially got hit during spring break of my first semester. And Deventer did his clinicals with St. Francis Children's Hospital, where he says he's seen firsthand the need for more nurses. He says some have retired, but many left the field due to COVID-19 burnout, causing a major strain on the healthcare system. We had a, a mass exodus of nurses for a while just because it was a, a huge strain on the individuals. And so we ended up with a shortage of personnel during the COVID pandemic because of it. The director of TCC's nursing program is well aware of the shortage and says nurses play a critical role in the health industry, especially during a health crisis. The nurse manages the overall care of the patient and sees the patient all the time and uh, interacts with the patient, has communication with the patient. So it's, it's a very important role. TCC has been sending nurses into the workforce since 1971, and their goal is to expand the program to meet the growing need. There's a huge nursing shortage. Every single one of our students will be able to be employed right away, um, and there's still a huge shortage. That's why Senator Inhofe says he wants to get more funding for TCC. Jero says they're hoping to use the money to buy more equipment, upgrade their lab, and expand their student capacity. Having the opportunity to accept more students because we have the applicants already will really benefit the hospitals in the long run. Being able to put out more students, she said about 50 each year once they implement all of the changes. And nursing students tell me increasing the number of nurses will help prevent burnout and ultimately benefit hospitals. Live in Tulsa, Jeanette Quesada, Tunis, Oklahoma.